Hello, welcome to the um, RTV Tools Exporter Pro Batch Processing Tutorial. So batch processing in the RTV Tools Exporter allows you to process multiple sheets and views with different uh, configurations, um, whereby allowing you to print some sheets to a printer as well as creating PDFs of those sheets or DWFs um, and at the same time creating exported views to uh, Navisworks or IFC. So to go about creating um, these kind of uh, sheet setups and um, configurations that we need, we need to go and create the uh, batch processing export um, or print configurations. So I'm going to create some export configurations for PDF. I've got some PDF settings already set up from the previous tutorial on creating PDFs and I'm going to save this uh, export configuration for reuse in the batch processing. So I've got my settings, I'm just going to double check, everything looks good. Uh, save that and I'm going to call that uh, export to PDF. And I'm just going to click cancel because I don't want to export the sheets to PDF just yet. We'll do this as part of the batch process. And under the views I'm just going to select a NWC view and I'm going to set up my export configuration. So I'm going to export that with shared coordinates. I'm going to export all the elements. Um, I could choose to convert the link files. There are no link files in here. And I could divide the file into levels. I'm going to choose my export folder for my NWCs. I'm going to place them in there. And I'm going to add a date parameter to that. Um, and I'm going to change the, the naming format here. I'm going to set that to RTV Tools. NWC and I'm not going to replace any characters there and I'm just going to tick on the NWC and save that as my export to NWC WC. Now that I've created some export uh, formats. Uh, I can load the sheets that I would like to uh, export to PDF just by selecting them and using the arrows here to load in the sheets and views. So I have my NWC selected, my sheets selected and by selecting the views tab I've loaded my 3D view, my NWC and my sheets. If there's a sheet that I don't want or a view I don't want, I can unload that by selecting the opposite arrow key and I can unload that. I can also use the view sets. Um, any saved view sets for both sheets and views can be used to populate the sheet list. And if the sheet list or view list is a commonly used list and you want to save that for reuse, you can save the view list or the sheet list out to a file by clicking on the save sheet list, um, my sheets, and then you can use that saved sheet list to restore for future batch processes if it's a common one. I can also load a filter in. I'm going to load a filter to export um, my IFC. So I'm just going to set up my export to IFC and save that. So under my IFC I'm going to save that out as a, a default standard. Um, space boundaries, yes, OK. And I'm just going to save that as an IFC file. And again, I'm going to save that into a separate folder, IFC, and I will add the date in there, and I'm just going to call that IFC. I'm going to save that configuration, export to IFC. 
and I'm going to use a previously saved uh, filter list to load any IFC file. So I've got an IFC file here that's uh, named IFC and I'm going to load a saved views and, and it's going to find anything with IFC in it. And that's going to load the filter. It starts with a Revit view name IFC. So anything with a view name of IFC in it will now be exported with that one. Under my uh, Revit Sheets, I'm now going to load in my batch configuration or the export file format that I want to, to use. And that can either be a print configuration or a, a file export configuration. And just click the arrow there. I'm going to load to export PDFs for these sheets. So these sheets are going to be PDF. And you can have multiple configurations. Um, loaded for these sheets. I could load uh, DWFs at the same time, uh, export to um, DWG and uh, obviously printing as well. Under my, my views, I'm just going to save my views. Um, I'm going to save both the NWC view to NWC and the IFC view to um, IFC. I'm just going to load the configurations here and load them both and I can change the order by bumping the arrow keys up and down. Now once the batch configuration has been loaded you can save this for reuse at a later date as well um, and this will allow you to use the batch configuration as part of a scheduled task as well. So I'm just going to save this as my batch And I can load a previously saved um, batch process by loading my batch. And if I want to run that right now and don't want to use it as part of a scheduled task, all I have to do is just click run. And the exporter will start PDFing the sheets and um, exporting the sheets as they go. Hopefully this short tutorial on batch processing with the RTV Tools exporter has been useful. And be sure to stop by a YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you very much.